All right. So what are we doing? Um, well, because of the problems converting the other video that we took, uh, we are re-recording, and we're just going to uh, go over the emergency survival alcohol cook stove that we made. Okay. Based on weekend adventurer Russell, um, based on the design that he used in the video that he has okay. on his YouTube channel. So we had the remnants of a Budweiser aluminum bottle, which we had four of those, and you know that's the bottom and partially the top because the top's on the inside. Yeah, the see, let me get under the light here with this. Okay, yeah, you can see this is the top of the Bud bottle, and it was, hold that piece up there, hon. The bottom. The bottom is the outside. Piece. Yeah, so the bottom comes off of here, and then the inside, which is, you can hardly tell, it comes off the top, and then you flip it over and measure that they're the same uh, height-wise, and you... The top mm -hmm. the bottom. You tap that down in there until it's a snug fit. Before you do, though, what do you got to do to the neck of that? You, oh, the neck you have to you have to uh, just take a hacksaw or even a hacksaw blade if you have one available, and you can just run the hacksaw like you know. Here, show I'm showing the little dot as you're talking there. Okay, just run the hacksaw like this across the bottom of the, the neck. Mm-hmm. Down inside and, and create those create little two channels one there for the alcohol fuel and one over I'm trying to get it in the light better there there's another one right there they don't have to be you know deep significant channels yeah you can see they're really small you know? and when you bang the uh, the neck down into the bottom you have to make sure the rest of it's flush to the bottom the only way from here to in between these two layers here is a little those little uh, those little channels that he sawed in there. And then you have the holes before you before you place oh. the inside piece. Mm -hmm. On the inside, you have the holes that you have to drill. And I think um, <laughs> there's I think a mirror Russ, over there. Yeah, I think Russell don't want to be in six it. Six holes in his. We put eight in ours because I wasn't sure how many holes. You see them? Place. Only on the outside layer, the bottom yeah, the, the bottom piece, piece, not the inside. Only thing from the inside that's not uh, a barrier from the other are those two little channels. So he used the one sixteenth bit. Is sealed off. Yeah, one sixteenth drill bit for those holes works just fine. Um, the JB weld is used to affix the inside piece and the outside piece to each other. Just bond them at the top. Um, but before you do that, you'll probably want to get the wick positioned. And we chose a, a spot on the bottom, uh, near the bottom, that covers the 16 fluid ounce marking. This is insulated stove rope. Mm -hmm, fiberglass. It doesn't burn. Right. Um, which is it's similar to what Russell uses in his video, mm -hmm. but it's not the exact same thing. As long as it's it, it's called fiberglass insulated stove um, right. gasket. Well, okay. yeah, that's what they call it at the store. But you take the JB Weld, not the JB Quick, okay? Russell what indicated kind? in his, you've got the black and the red, okay? Mm -hmm. JB Weld epoxy. Um, not the bottle. orange and blue Quick. Not the orange okay. and blue Quick bottles. Um, and then you just you put a layer over that 16 fluid ounce mark all the way around. Uh, wrap your wick around up top. Peg it with a nail or two to where you can, you know, weave the nail in between the, uh, the fibers of the rope mm -hmm. as they overlap. And then just slide it down from where you've got it. The JB weld covered. Yeah. Yeah. And then do the JB weld ring at the top. Okay. To get the two pieces from the inside and the outside to seal. The JB Weld takes um, six hours to set and about 15, 15 to 20 hours to cure. cure. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sure the and what's the price on that? This was 3.90. We got it at a little uh, mom and pop shop there, four bucks for that, and that will easily do. Um, that whole set there will probably do. 
I don't know, 16 of these, because we maybe went through like not even quite a fourth of that mix, and we did these four, um, sealing around the edges here and making a ring here at the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. It's hard as a rock. It's yeah, great. It, it hardens, you know, just like yeah. the weld is no, is no and hard. And when it's all dry and you get ready to test them, you can always take the nail out and cut off the excess. We we cut. Yeah, that's what we did. We yeah, I got nails. for the set of four because these type of beer bottles usually come in a set of four. Um, I bought. I went to the mom and pop store that sells this uh, fiberglass rope. Um, they sell it by the foot, and I bought three feet of it. I bought thirty six inches. Um, or no, was it thirty two? No, I, I did straight three. Yeah, I did a three feet for eighty six cents a foot, um, and we divide, we just cut it in four pieces. And uh, when it was dry, we cut off the excess because you got to overlap them obviously to get the nail to hold them shut. Right. Otherwise, you're going to be trying to figure out for a day how to make them meet and stay in the JB Weld until it sets. So that nail trick was a really good idea, Russell. Thank you. <laughs> um, now, as far as the holes that are drilled in the outer casing. Those are half an inch from the top of the outer casing. Oh, right. Okay. Distance okay. here? Yeah, from the top. They're half an inch from the top of the outside lip. Okay. Um, because if what, what we discovered with our first part, the first bottle that we tore up and tried to, uh, <coughs> tried to do something with, which is this particular one here. Oh, the problem child uh, one. The problem <laughs> child. Um, we... Uh, we use the suggested uh, measurements as far as what Russell indicated in his video. Mm -hmm. We didn't have a roll of duct tape, but we had a two-inch roll of aluminum tape. Yeah. And so we used that to score this line at the bottom of the bottle. Mm -hmm. And that aluminum tape is amazing stuff too, by the way. If you want to see it in action, um, we have another video on the solar cooker that we made. Okay. Uh, Hey, Mike, this is Aslan. You should introduce him to Rufus sometime. <laughs> Hi, Kitty. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Sorry. Um, as far as the holes, Russell mentions in his video that you measure half an inch down, and then you can just mark that particular spot with, you know, electrical tape. We used a strip of thin duct tape, um, and it works just fine. Like I said before, we put eight holes in our stoves. I think Russell put six, if I remember how his bloom I don't out remember. Once, it, once it ignites. Mm -hmm. um, we did not have a pipe cutter like the one that Russell <laughs> has in yeah. the video. We did not have no, a large-sized pipe cutter. The only pipe cutter I have for plumbing is for small amounts of PVC, one inch or less. Yeah. Okay, that, that's what we had available. So, um, we broke out the angle grinder with Let's a pull over here, I can see better. Yeah, you know, just a right, standard angle grinder, electric. Um, we broke it out, uh, secured it in my benchtop vise on the tool, the workbench table. Mm hmm and that's how we cut these uh, not so straight and jagged edges. <laughs> but to smooth <laughs> that out, we were able to use my uh, my bench top uh, sanding electric belt sander and smooth them out as best we could. This is the denatured alcohol that we bought. SLX bought it at what you like to call oh it. China Mart yeah. yeah. Couldn't find it anywhere else, unfortunately. Yeah, six bucks at China Mart. Yeah, how much is it? I mean, uh, how many ounces? Amount wise, it's one quart. One quart. Yep. Yeah, one quart. Uh, now this is this is a re-video presentation because the video that we already shot has uh, is not useful, so we're redoing it. Um, this is a do-over. <laughs> <laughs> um, Unlike some presidents, okay, we mean what we say. Right. <laughs> I said presentation. I said anything about well, anything you said about do over. over. Okay. So, we've got the stove that one of the four stoves that we've made. Um, I've already primed this wick. 
with some of the denatured alcohol. How much did you use to prime it? Uh, not very much. Did you pour it or did you just... I dabbed it on there okay. with uh, some cloth? Water okay. up, uh, How much the did you pour into the bottom? Uh, half the, ounce? Quarter uh, of an ounce? About half an ounce, maybe okay. three quarters of an ounce. There's a lighter over here. Okay. Go ahead and light it. Okay. Just move your hand away. Over here. Must have dried already. Oh, it caught. It caught. It'll probably take a moment mm -hmm. to get all the way around. Yep, it's catching. Yep, all the way around. it sure is. It's, it's slow. When we did the video test of this before, I had really <laughs> doubted the way. <laughs> they, yeah, they went up pretty quick. I think okay, that's why they, it's the caught all the way around. Yeah. Yeah, what he had done um, to prime it was...